Oh, we're back. And this is episode four. This feels good. See, I drank a lot of coffee this morning, probably more than I should have, but I'm feeling amped. I'm feeling energized. I'm ready for some chit and some chat on fabric related topics. Let's chat. Let's talk about it at the Fabric Show. I am Stephanie. And I'm Parker. And yeah, this is the Fabric Show. We talk about all things fabric, design company fabrics, and what's going on in the media. Absolutely. Interior design, apparel, the design studios, some inspiration for you. We got it all. We've got it all. Well, Parker, before we jump right into fabric content, we've got something really exciting happening next week. We do. On a Tuesday night. I know what's happening on a Tuesday night. And you want to know how I know? Want to know how I remembered, Steph? I don't, but I do want to know. Okay, well, let me tell you. I wore, conveniently, <laughs> a t-shirt that has the Guns N' Roses logo on it. Now, why would G-N-R! that be, Steph? We're going to Guns N' Roses. That's right. We're going to rock out on a Tuesday night because isn't that what you do on a Tuesday night? I don't know what else you do on a Tuesday night, but that's what I do. But I go to a rock concert. Yeah. So we're going to that next week. Super excited. Um, we'll let you know how it goes in the next episode. Um, but I think it's going to be a great time. I think it'll be fun. See, so Slash is my favorite guitarist ever. And so that's why when they announced that they were adding an extra date to their tour to come to Salt Lake. I was like, oh, we got to go. I got I to gotta see the man tear it up. I mean, yep. come on. I do have three extra tickets. Anyone looking to go would love to sell them. Um, they're really burning a hole in my pocket right now. Little miscommunication there, but let me know in the comments if you need three tickets. I am your girl for that. And they're good tickets, too. They're actually they very really close to the stage. Seats. So if you want to... <laughs> Please? Get up close and personal. Please. These are the tickets for you. Please buy them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we actually had to film an episode early. So the last episode you saw, we filmed a week early because we were out of town. Yes, we were. We were in Florida. Parker, kind of tell me how it's the, the emotions of going out of town when you have a small business and what it's like coming back. If it's a little overwhelming or you feel like you don't know what's going on, kind of. Let's explain to the watchers about running a small business and having uh, 50% of your company go on vacation. That's fair. And I think everything you just described there is exactly how it feels. It's a little overwhelming. It's a little stressful. And you don't really know what's going on, which can be, I mean, not necessarily problematic because everything gets handled, but you're always, it's always sitting in the back of your mind. We're like, oh, what's going on? And then we're constantly doing stuff outside of the business too, whether it's like online marketing or this show or the blog and stuff like that. So you never really stopped, but your hands are off of it. And so you're always kind of wondering what's going on and you're hoping that nothing is changed while you're not there. Like stuff isn't happening that you haven't looked at or approved of and stuff like that. Yeah, I totally agree. It gets tough with the online aspect of things because for the moment we are the ones that have kind of the reins on that. So Mm -hmm. when we get online orders while we're out of town, we have to postpone them for a few days because we can't get to them. And it's hard to put so much trust in other employees to handle that when we haven't fully trained them. So maybe that's on our end that we need to do a little bit better job of that. But also giving up some control is very hard. Yeah. And just because we know how to do it and we've set up the systems. And so I think it's a matter of creating a system that's usable for everyone so that that way when we are not here it's accessible to everyone everyone can handle it one thing though is when you do come back especially after being gone for 10 days uh you get a lot of messages and a lot of stacks of paper that pile up and so that's usually the first two days i think are stressful because it's just constant like you're constantly going catching up basically you're playing a catch-up game and it's it's a lot yeah. It's kind of exhausting. It's good. Again, all, I like that stuff's happening. It's great. But Yeah. All that being said, too, uh, love going on vacation. I'm not going to give that up because it's no, a little no, stressful. No. If anything, it when you get back, you're more motivated than you were to begin with, and you're more productive. And, it, you know, everybody needs a brain break. Absolutely. Yeah, so, 100%. Nice little break. It also allows you to catch up on more stuff where we can catch up more on planning the show and planning all the social media side of stuff. It allows you to actually focus on that because you don't have work on the side to deal with, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And I think we were working on something really exciting right before we left. Unfortunately, we didn't get it fully done. But today we are 
finally releasing our newest ski line. Yes. And I will have Parker take it away with Hot Off the Press. Let's go check it out. Although, actually, normally we'd go over to Hot Off the Press, but today we're doing Hot Off the Press from the chairs. That's right. You were wondering if we were going to loop in the chairs again? You're dang right. We're looping them in. We're talking about the chairs again. So let's look at some Hot Off the Press, shall we? This, Stephanie, it's our lovely Après Ski line. Now, we're talking linen and cotton. 100% Belgian linen and 100% cotton. The linen runs $75 a yard. The cotton, $45 a yard. Now, in this lovely little package here that will be sent out in the mail, you get a collection of these lovely sample cards. Big 8x8 eight eight samples so that you can really see the design, really see the graphic. Gives all the information on the back side there. Check those out. Give them a flip through. Tell me what you think. I know you already know what they look like because, you know, we were both involved in making this happen, but they turned out fantastic. And the samples look great. They give you all the information. We've got a QR code, so we try to make it as easy as possible for you to scan it in and look at it directly on the website. Oh, those are cool, too. So those are our... Uh, what are they called there? Off piece. Off piece. That's right. Yeah. So the uh, kind of the medallions style, great for pillows, great for bedding. Honestly, drapery out of that would be cool too. We also did a larger size as well. So if you wanted to have like a big one centered on your pillow, I love nice. them. Yeah, they look great. I think I would have gonna... told you they were ugly before we printed them. So they look great. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> that hurts my heart a little bit, but I'll get over it. Yeah. You know? No, they turned out good. <laughs> they're cool. They're very, I think they're very classy. I think they present very high end, tasteful, something that I would imagine in like a ski cottage or a ski and ski out home or something like that. I mean, just the perfect kind of winter scenes, especially for winter coming up, which not sure if I'm ready for. I'm liking fall. Fall's great. It's kind of warm. The leaves are pretty, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for the whole snow aspect that that can wait a little while longer. Yeah. I agree. I'm not ready. Yeah, this weather is lovely. Absolutely. But that's our hot off the press. Check them out online. You can order samples of these yourself. If we don't send these out, you're welcome to order some samples and we'll send them out to you. It'll be great. But that's online website, designslc.com. Or come in, see us, say hi, because we'll be here and we can cut you some in store. It'll be great. And why don't you want to see us? I know. You want to see us. You want to see us. We're a lot of fun. We're, I mean, come on. We have been told we are a lot of fun. Yes. And I agree with that statement. Some have compared us to equally, if not better, than The View. You know The View? Wow. Yeah. I agree. So, uh, we're Emphasis cheaper. Emphasis on the, if not better. <laughs> we're a cheaper version of The View at the moment. At you the know. moment, but you wait. You do not have to pay to see us. Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Parker. Absolutely. Those are lovely. Ooh, I think I need some, actually. I kind of want some bedding out of it. Oh, Imagine a nice. duvet. Ooh, a linen duvet. Come on. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, today we are debuting Steph Style Studio. Woo! Finally. Let's go. I've gotten my thoughts together and I've figured out something to talk about. So let's head over to our African wax prints today for Steph Style Studio. Very nice. I'm excited to see. Me too. <laughs> Welcome to Steph Style Studio, and today we are introducing our African wax prints. So these are called Ankara prints, and how they work, come on, let's get in close, let me show you. So how they work is you have these handmade stamps that has the design um, engraved into the stamp, and wax gets poured over the stamp with the color in it, and then they are stamped by hand onto the fabric, creating these great patterns. They are 100% cotton and machine washable, and they will be available online at designslc.com. So we're back. Those prints, I think, are very cool. I don't quite understand the difference between a wax block and a hand block. This might be some homework that I have to do. Well, I just told you in Style Studio. Oh. The difference. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Well, those are pretty cool, honestly. It's, I kind of wish I had come up with some of those designs, especially like the, the spray paint. What would you call it? Like the spray cans. Those are sweet. Yeah. I think it's very cool. Very, very cool stuff. I like him. Next up, in the fabric fold, I've got some big news. Some might even say huge news. Like some of the biggest news. It's big news. So, first of all, this week, the final cut sale 
You thought 30% off was crazy. I know you did because I did. This week, 40% off. Sorry, did I hear you correct? Oh, I said 40. Like four and then zero. And then a percentage sign. Wow. 40%. So that $3 fabric is not only less than $3, it is 40% less than $3. It is literally less than $3. That's like in the twos. $1.80. A dollar eighty. A dollar eighty a yard. A dollar eighty. Guys. A dollar eighty a yard. You want to know what you can get for a dollar eighty? Literally nothing. 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 Literally nothing. I don't even think you're getting a McDonald's dollar cheeseburger for a dollar anymore. No. Not for a dollar eighty. You got this thing called tax. On the we have this thing called tax tax too. too, But But that's besides the point. The point is 40% off. Now, not everything in there is $3 a yard. It goes from $3 up to $20 a yard, but still $20 a yard. You got 40% off. You know what that is? Less than $20 a yard. That is crazy. (laughs) Wow. I would be sprinting here today. You heard this. Stop right now. The $20 a yard stuff is $12 a yard, by the way. $12. That's I don't have words. <laughs> it's, it's insane, though. Forty percent off—that's a huge sale. But you want some bigger news, Steph? Hit me. Can I blow your mind? I'm because already speechless. Forty percent off in the final cut sale is big. Don't get me wrong, but we're having the open house now. When does that happen, Steph? That happens name? Thursday, 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 Thursday through Saturday of October. So to the twenty sixth. Through the 28th of October, we are having an open house. Yes, and with the open house comes something big. Free food. Besides that. Besides that, we have 40% off. Again, you're like, Parker, you just said that. No, 40% off the entire store. That's everything. Not just the final cut room. Now, it's only for those four days. No, is that three days? Three days. Three days. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's three days. It's on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So just for those three days. 40% 40% off the entire store. Now, I don't know if we've ever run a sale that big before. Not for a long time. Not that I remember ever doing And with this selection off. of fabric right now. It's true. That is huge. That is, that is absolutely huge. Wow. That means everything in the store, the price it's marked, it is less than that price. And 40% less. Yes. That is exactly how that works. That's crazy. You can get our hundred dollar yard stuff for sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, yeah. And I mean, yeah, some of our highest end fabrics, hundred dollars a yard, sixty dollars. Man, if you're looking to do some like interior design or like some home design, you've got some stuff to recover. You got some looking at your drapery, and you're like, you know, that looks good, but it could look great. Well, now's the time to make it look great because you're going to get a great deal on some incredible fabric with, I think, our best selection we've ever had at the moment. Oh yeah. We're kind of bursting at the seams. And yes, that was a fabric pun pun, or pun. (laughs) That was a fabric pun. Man, talking is hard today. I know. I'm struggling. (laughs) Too much coffee. Do we get lip filler? What's going on? It's like. (laughs) Something is wrong. But yes, fabric pun because we're very funny here. Bunch of jokes. (laughs) Some may say punny. (laughs) I know. Yes, we are actually bursting at the seams. We have a massive selection. Tons of great fabric. Best selection I've ever seen. So you would be foolish to miss it because be it will it. not happen again for a while. Now, don't worry. If you're on our email list, which if you're not, definitely subscribe to that. You can subscribe on our website, send out an email, giving you all the information. I write the emails so, you know, you could see stuff that I write, which is super fun. It's like almost as good as an autograph. Almost. When we are the view, yes. it's like it's a free autograph. Like, I got his email. What is going on around here? Personal email? This is big news. <laughs> yeah. Right. Open house and final cut, 40% off. 40% off. Nuts. Yeah, great. Um, So exciting today. We have some new community threads. We do. And I'd love to highlight those. Let's check them out, Steph. And I'll pull this up on the screen for you watching. For you lovely viewers who are not viewing, you lovely listeners, I got you. You lovely listeners. We'll describe it for you. So this is from Milan Fashion Week. Big news. Fancy. Wow. Milan. We made it global across global the sea. We're big news. Um, check these out, Steph. So 
We've got some lovely swimwear made out of our fabric. I absolutely recognize the bottom piece there. Got some great colors going on. We got some, what would you say, cyan or teal. Got some kind of red oranges, some yellows, great pop of color with the white on top. I think the contrast is nice, makes it pop, tastefully done. Wouldn't you yeah. agree? Yeah, I like it. Very nice. I like it even more that it was in Milan. That's true. I mean, that's extra exciting. Yeah. And I like it even more that it's our fabric. And that we were tagged. We were tagged. That's love great. It. See, and that's how you get on community threads is tag us in your post. We we'll love a tag. There's another one. Um, check that out. All white. I like the lace going oh. on here. Great accent. Stylish. Tasteful. Mm -hmm. Very tasteful. The white, clean, crisp. Looks nice. Yeah. Presents well. That's great. Yeah. I think they killed it. Shout out to Hafana Swimwear. Yeah. Hafana Swimwear. Out here getting it done. It's great. We appreciate the tag. Well done on the project. They look and great. And congrats to being in Milan Fashion Week. Yeah, That's it's huge. huge. That's very cool. Yeah. Pretty nice. I like them. That, so keep sending in your stuff. Tag us and we'll be sure to highlight you because we love supporting our fellow followers. Yeah. And we think it's cool. I like seeing it. When I got tagged in that, I guess I, we, us, us. When we got tagged, I was excited to see it. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Look at that. Great. And we just want to highlight beyond what's going on in the community, but in the design culture in general. So I see you wore your Ralph Lauren sweater today. I did. I planned my clothing appropriately. Not only did. did I wear a Guns N' Roses shirt to talk about Guns N' Roses, I also wore my boy Ralph. Some may say you may have said that out last night. Were you prepared? That is exactly what I did. <laughs> In case you're wondering, yes. It was folded up last night, sitting on the shelf, ready for action. It's like shirts on the shelf, pants on the chair, shoes on the ground. Absolutely. So literally you fall into your, mm -hmm. your I outfit. I sit there and I, and then all of a sudden I'm wearing it. It's Trust. amazing. It's like a magic trick. That's great. But it's real life. Anyways. Anyways. So, our boy Ralph. Because I know you're a fan of Ralph Lauren as well. How could you not be? He does some great stuff. It's He's an icon. Everyone knows it. He's an icon. And he just recently came out with a book called A Way of Living. I think it's a book that I need to purchase because, one, great coffee table book. Two, minor obsession, slight obsession with the man himself because I think he's just incredible. Parker has a crush. And maybe a bit of homework for me. Because I think seeing some of the designs that he's come out with, especially in interior design, has paved the way for a lot of design trends. And so I think to kind of understand that and see that, because we look at trends constantly, gives you a great idea as to what's coming next, what might come back around, what maybe doesn't work anymore. And just to see that, so moving forward, you can kind of build off of that and create some new lines. But I found an article from our friends at Vogue, because we love Vogue, Vogue. and they were highlighting some of his personal house that he highlights in the book. So we get to see some of his personal houses and how he's styled them and how he's designed them because a lot of his stuff is based off of what he likes. I would say a majority of it is, honestly. So we're going to go through these. I'll show them on the screen as well, and I'll describe them here for you lovely listeners. And Our lovely we're, listeners. We're going to go through. We're going to look at what we like, what we don't like, maybe what we would change. So let's take a look, shall we? Let's take a look. The first one here, we've got... His cabin at the Double RL Ranch in Colorado. His ranch is very cool. Personal thoughts. What do you think? Not my taste. Me neither. Um, very woodsy mm -hmm. cabiny. I think that that used to be huge, especially where we grew up. Mm -hmm. um, I can see it definitely coming back around. But for me right now, not my taste. I agree. I agree 100%. I think it's a little too rustic for me. Um, the antler chandelier, I don't think is really popular anymore. I think for a while it was very popular and it may come back around, especially in some of these more like ranch style or ski community style mm -hmm. places. I think it absolutely could come back around. I do like some of the Native American prints. What do you um, think about the two-toned couch? So with, the back being different? Or is that just a blanket? It's just a blanket on oh, top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I think it works for it. Yeah. Um, I like the pillows. I like the rugs there i think they did a nice job there with those prints i like the bold colors and the pops of color i think that looks good but in general i agree it's a bit too rustic for my taste for being in a ranch totally makes sense mm -hmm. but it's like you've committed your entire style to that yes. like there's no going back absolutely 
I agree. Hope you love it forever. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. Next. There's the book cover. A Way of Living. Cute. So this is living area in the guest house in Montauk, New York. Interesting. Very different style, right? Super different. I personally like it. Clean, tasteful. I like the pops of white, minimalist wood. I think it looks nice. Tree in the living room, bringing a bit of nature, the skylights. Mm -hmm. Where is Montauk? Is it like a woodsy area? I think it's a beachy area. Interesting. I would say it's a beachy area since that's the outside. A lot of like (laughs) um, chestnut color wood, Mm -hmm. which I feel like is also kind of a 50s, 60s style. I'd agree with that. Not that I think it's bad, and I think it will absolutely come back around, too. Mm -hmm. I think we're still seeing a lot of the darker woods at the moment. I think that's more popular is darker woods. Yeah. But, again, not bad. I like the cleaner look, personally. Mm. Cottage in Jamaica. Yeah, come on. (laughs) I mean, how could you not like this one? Um, Jamaica, guys. Jamaica. This one I actually have seen this house because they've highlighted it a lot. Very cool. Basically all white color palette, and then they accented with dark blues. Very clean. A classic Rob Ferrand Very color. minimal. Absolutely. Dark blue. 100%. Um, they killed it. They don't really show much of that house, which I think is weird. Oh, I, I didn't know, know if that was inside. That's a different one. Oh. But. Uh, okay. Interesting. Again, yeah, nice. Works. Nice, clean, works, functional. Very classy. Um, this one. The Penthouse, New York City. Now, this personally is my taste to a T. Very mid-century. We've got some Art Deco going on in there as well. The chairs, very minimalistic. Let's zoom in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the metal, kind of the chrome metal, brown leather, the white sectional couch there. We've got some chrome and metal pieces. It could use a little bit more artwork, in my opinion. Use a little bit more of a pop of color on the walls. The walls are a little stark. Yep. But big fan of that kind of mid-century and art deco combination going on there personal thoughts not my taste at all really yeah no why not Uh, i think it's bland oh i don't like a white couch either fair and honestly all the furniture looks really uncomfortable it's not supposed to be comfortable (laughs) it's supposed to be beautiful (laughs) yeah i don't know Maybe if there was some more fun artwork on the walls, but it, it looks like no one lives there. It is a little stark. I agree. It could use a little bit of artwork. There's no life. <laughs> it is a little cold. Yeah. But for a clean look, it's great. <laughs> but just not your taste. Not my taste. Well, no. I can't help that you're wrong. No, it's fine. It happens. It's okay. I'm not. <laughs> but it happens. I and mean, he's got a couple others, but that's I mean a pretty good look at kind of his styles. He does have his... Uh, more of his English style houses too, which maybe we'll have to go over in a future episode. I didn't realize they weren't in this because he's killed that style. I mean, that's kind of what a lot of his stuff is based off of is this English aristocratic style. Yeah. I think I would like that more. That's fair. But thanks for that part. We'll get back to that. We'll, we'll come back and we'll take a look at some of the English aristocratic, maybe when we come out with a more English style collection, because I believe, and when I believe it, I achieve it. No, I don't know. It's coming soon? I think it may be coming soon. We have talked about kind of an English style. Exciting. Exciting stuff. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Fun little new segment to the pod. Yeah. We'll try it out. See if we get good feedback, any feedback, Mm -hmm. and maybe continue doing it. Absolutely. Um, I don't have any questions today. I don't either. So be sure to check out these episodes. They drop every Monday. So a new episode will drop. This episode will be next Monday. I guess next whenever you watch them, that's really irrelevant. But that's true. But technically, Mondays, this Mondays. episode will drop this Monday. This Monday. Because by the time you're seeing this, this will have dropped. So we got you. Yeah. Um, and but that's in the future. Yeah. Reach out with any questions. Like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends because sharing is caring. Absolutely. And, and they want to know. They want to know. The people want to know, Stephanie. They do. They want to know. They want to know. I would want to know. Check out our blog, too. Post it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Lots of good stuff in there. If you're more of a reader, want to see some stuff that we haven't gone over in the podcast or in the Fabric Show, I guess, because this is also a show, check it out. Yeah. They're never too long. It's a quick read, but some interesting stuff going on in there. All right, everybody. Till the next one. We will see you. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Nice.